Hey, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today is going to be a Blacklight Retribution gameplay. Um, I, I downloaded this recently and I find that I'm pretty good at it. I really like it. You'll see me go on an absolute tear. I just shit on everybody in this game in gameplay. So I'll do that in the background while I talk about why I like it, what's wrong with it. The good, bad, and the ugly. I'm not going to title it that. I'm just going to be like my review on it. So let's get right into this. So the first thing that caught my mind was the sound. The sound of this game is amazing. Like if you just like put a headset on, listen to the sounds only. It's just a really good, really good sounding game. It's much better than Call of Duty. Much better than Battlefield. The way everything sounds. You step on different material. It's all better sounding. It's it just really smooth and clean. And uh, the frames per second, I don't find any drops on the PS4. Especially that'd be something that you'd worry about getting. But actually, I didn't find any drops. Like it's a really good 60 smooth 60 frame, frame per second game. It's a it's origins on the P, it originated on the PC. Sorry if I stutter. Sorry if there's noise in the background. Those are just two things I can't really help with. But yeah, this game is actually really good. Uh, it looks good. It's it's good free. But I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to a negative right quick. Uh, you have to buy shit to play the game. I mean, it, it's free unless you want to do good and have fun. Like there's stuff in the game that costs real life money, and you can only get it if you spend money on it in real life if you want to keep it permanently. There is guns that you can actually buy with the in-game currency, but it's only for like one day. Like you can only have it for 24 hours, and not of gameplay, but of you actually like buying it, and then 24 hours later, it's just hour by hour. If you play, you get your most out of it. That's good, but yeah, it's really hard to get the GP too, which is the currency. Um, it's it's pretty fun. Hey, uh, what I, what you can do is you get a starter pack, you get free 250 of the currency, which is a decent amount. You get an extra loadout. You only get one loadout when you start. If you get the free pack thing, you buy a weapon, you get a second slot. Um, there's stuff that's overpowered in this game that kind of pisses me off. Like you'll see me in this part, I think here, where I get the uh, hard suit. Now, something if you see on the bottom left, it says CP. Now that means credit points, and I can use that stuff to buy stuff in that location I was recently just at. You can buy a hard suit, you can buy an armor stinger a launcher, you can buy health packs, you can buy all that kind of stuff, and it's really cool. I, I think it's a good way to play, but I don't think that, uh, the hard suits are too balanced. I think they're way too overpowered. Whenever I buy them, I just wreck everybody. I'll never ever die in that thing unless somehow I end up killing myself, or I just stand there like an idiot and get shit on from 50 directions, or an enemy has an armor stinger. Yeah, but yeah, there's good that there's viable options like in game with the CP to uh, completely disintegrate a armor suit. Yeah, this is where I buy it right here, and then you have to call it in. See, you get uh, that, you get that little handle thing, and then you just look at the location. It's like a care package in old Call of Duties or in any Call of Duty t to this point where you can't do it inside; it has to be outside. And uh, yeah, you just hop right in. It reminds me of a Titan from Titanfall. I've never played the game. Actually, no, I played the game a couple times because I was at my friend's house and we played it. But actually, in this gameplay, that's right. I died getting into it and an enemy steals it. But I think I get one later. But it just... See, he stole it. I was really pissed off because I'm like, I'm doing so good. And then I just died and then... ah. But it's, it's fine. I don't really care. It's, I'm a little salty though, but... Yeah, another bad thing about this game is the lag. Oh my god, if you get into a bad server, you're gonna lag out the ass. Like, you're just gonna swear, you're gonna curse, you're gonna be all pissed off. Because, Jesus Christ, the lag in this game is awful when you get into it. Like, a server, or... I don't even know if they're called servers, just a host that, with any shitty internet connection, anything below, like, 20 megabytes per second, and you're completely fucked. Like, seriously, it's just awful. It, it, the lag in this game sometimes can just be annoying, obstructive. That's why I did good in this game, because I wasn't lagging too much. I just assumed I was host because I didn't lag at all. I mean, you kind of have to be host not to lag at all. But, yeah, so so overall, I'm pretty good at this game. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty fucking good at this game. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fun game. I bought that at the LMG Museum right now. I bought it with the, the currency I got from the starter kit. And it's a really good LMG. I do recommend buying it. There's stuff like a crossbow, a bolt-action rifle, which both are... Apparently overpowered because every time I die by them, I just get absolutely shit on. But yeah, guys, uh, what else is there to talk about? There's um, the maps. The maps are really good. I like the maps. They're pretty decent. Uh, there's a couple of maps that I don't like. There's a game mode called Deathmatch. It's pretty much free-for-all from Call of Duty. But, oh my god, you literally spawn beside people and you turn and you die. I don't know if it was just the map I played on. I played one game and I just got absolutely fed up because I just kept spawning right beside enemies. And it was annoying. Like, you just spawn, you shoot your gun, you get like five kills and it was god-awful. Yeah, this is where I bought the hard suit, I think. Yeah, I bought the hard suit here and then I shit on the other guy in the other hard suit, I think. But, uh, all is, all is well. But yeah guys, this is pretty much it for my uh, 
commentary on this I, I did the maps i did all that stuff just one more thing before i finish this the grenades in this game are weird you have a 24 hour grenade thing where you get a certain grenade for 24 hours uh that i just pulled out a revival injector that thing you can revive down teammates i just i was playing around with it i figured out how to use the game this was like a couple one of my first couple of games but yeah overall i would give this game a six out of ten just because you have to buy stuff but if it was like a full game and you bought everything i would give this a good nine out of ten it's a really good game it's a little laggy here and there but yeah tell me guys this is the end of it but tell me guys if you want to see some hard suit gameplay if you want to see me do some live comms on it please let me know in the comment section below uh, it'd be greatly appreciative of some feedback uh please leave a like subscribe and comment what you thought on today's video and i'll see you guys tomorrow with some call of duty slash battlefield videos i'm sorry about not uploading yesterday but the sony got ddosed and i'll see you guys tomorrow peace